guys, so today I'm going to be talking you through how I lost weight overnight. It's super safe and really effective and I hope you enjoy this video. The first ingredient you're going to need is 2 teaspoons of Epsom salt. After that, we're just going to put in at least 4 teaspoons of ground cinnamon. I recommend 4 to 5, but you can put a bit more if you'd like to. I just don't like it smelling too cinnamony because it makes me feel sick. After that, we're just going to put in 2 tablespoons of olive oil. And we're just going to mix that into the mixture really, really lightly, just so it doesn't sit on the top and doesn't just get absorbed by one part of the mixture. We want it to be done with all of it. So we're just going to stir it in and we're just going to do this so there isn't any lumps and we're also going to do it until it kind of turns into that mush. <laughs> then we're going to boil then pour 350 milliliters of water into a measuring jug. I like to use one with like all the signs on it instead of measuring loads of cups out but yeah it's completely up to you what you do. Then we're just going to mix it in and stir it into the original mixture that we made earlier. I like to do this part by part so I don't get any lumps in my mixture and it's all mixed in really well so none of it sits on the top. Then I let it infuse for 5-10 to 10 minutes just so everything reacts together before we put the bandage in. When we do put the bandage in we're going to soak it for 5-10 to 10 minutes and it's really important to unroll it so every bit of it gets it all over it and we're just going to stir it in just so every single part is covered. After soaking the bandage for 5-10 to 10 minutes we're just going to give it one final stir before we take it out and start wrapping it around our body. I like to do this just so every part of it is covered and then when I put it on my body I put one strap down and then just start going tighter the more straps around I do and I make sure that no skin is left out in between otherwise some parts will be slimmer than others and it will look really weird. Then we're just going to grab some cling film and wrap it around ourselves. This is going to make us sweat out some water so it will make us appear to lose weight and also it stops it from going everywhere on your furniture. After wearing it for an hour, we're just going to take off the cling film and then slowly take off the other bandage and your tummy will be a bit red because of the magic weight loss things that are happening but it's absolutely fine and normal for it to be like this. Then just to clear off the other bits, I'm just going to get a wet towelette and just wipe it all around my body. This part of my body will also be very dehydrated so I just use some deep moisture lotion all over my front and all over my back really really well and we're left with a much thinner tummy than we were before. Thank you so much for watching this video, bye! Welcome back to another Q&A question weight loss series. Um, today's question is about intermittent fasting. So people ask me a lot about this. I have, you know, expressed that I think intermittent fasting is beneficial in the past and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit today. So there's different diets that like promote intermittent fasting. Like I think the warrior diet is one where you pretty much don't eat all day and you have one meal at night. Um, there's also the 5-2 diet, I think it's called, where you eat like as many calories as you can for five days and then two days you eat 500 or something like that. Um, so intermittent fasting isn't like something new, it's something that we have done our whole lives, it's something that, you know, the body naturally does. Um, and it's not really like a diet, it's more of listening to your body and it kind of comes into play with like intuitive eating and things like that. So. If, you know, I don't think that you should force your body to intermittently fast, but what I do think is that when you listen to your body, you'll realize that, you know, most people, most thin people, um, will listen to their bodies and fast when they're not hungry. So, um, like if you've ever had a friend and it's like 10 o'clock or noon or something like that and they've just been so busy and they're just like, you know, I'm, I haven't eaten anything all day because their body wasn't telling them to eat. They weren't hungry and they were just busy and they were focused on other things. That's kind of an explanation of intermittent fasting. So if you go to bed or you say you stop eating, you eat dinner at 5 p.m., you wake up and you don't eat something till 8 p.m., you'd technically be intermittent fasting for 15 hours. So from 5 p.m. to 8 a.m., 15 hours, which I think 15 hours is like generally how much people will intermittent fast. 
Um, the biggest thing with this though is people are very brainwashed from diets, from the media, from having to eat 10 mini meals every single day or else your metabolism is gonna slow down and you're gonna die, right? Like we've all heard that, that you need to eat 10 times a day and you need to eat consistently or your body's gonna go into starvation mode. So the only thing that I really have to say about this is just listen to your body. So if you wake up in the morning and you know some diet or some person or whatever is telling you that you need to eat at five o'clock in the morning or else you're gonna go into starvation mode and die but you're not hungry, like just eat when you're hungry. So wake up in the morning, drink a bunch of water, get your body hydrated and then wait until you are hungry to eat your first meal. Your next meal, wait until you're hungry to eat your next meal. So like a long time ago when we were roaming the planet, you know, when we were not living by the standards of society and all their brainwashing and diets, we didn't have three meals a day. Like these were put into place by the marketing of America to